Hi, and welcome to another video from my book English from Afar, the low pain way to advanced English. The English really say the most extraordinary things at times. For example, one form of greeting is, how do you do? I've never understood that. How do I do what? Contrary to what you might expect, this is not a question about one's general state. It is, in fact, just a greeting. What's more, the correct response is, how do you do? It is a formal form and was, as it seems to be falling out of fashion, more associated with the upper class. A less formal greeting is the simple hello, with how are you tacked on if you wanted to ask about someone's health. Now, asking about someone's health in a rather vague way is considered a courtesy at the beginning of a conversation. But here's the rub. Because no matter what your actual state of health, you are expected to reply positively by saying something like, very well, thank you. The nearest you can get to saying that you are not well in these circumstances is to say, well, as well as can be expected. One that baffles me is one that was drummed into me as a boy. To thank a host by saying, thank you for having me at the end of a visit. Innocent enough in the words of a 10 year old, but with modern English slang, the meaning is rather more like the shock Miss Wong got when reading the note left with her laundry by Mr. Mutu the other week. Another expression that somehow crept its way into the English language is to be hoisted on one's own petard. What in heaven's sake is a petard? More to the point, how do you hoist one? And for that matter, how do you do it to yourself? Well, a petard is a small bomb. It originated in France in the 16th century, and this gives us a bit of a clue. The expression is an excerpt from Shakespeare's Hamlet and is a reference to falling into one's own trap, being blown up by one's own bomb as it were. Cockney rhyming slang is another example. To have a butcher's means to have a look. How does that work? Well, quite simple really. Butchers are shops that sell meat and they have hooks to hang the cuts of meat on. So butcher's hook rhymes with look. So to have a butcher's means to have a look. You might hear, I'd like to have a butcher's at those bristols. Another one you might hear someone talk about is the trouble and strife. That's the wife. Now to end this week, and just taking the opportunity to have a bit of a giggle, I've got a couple that you might like to try and work out. The first is Alan Wickers, as in a pair of Alan Wickers. And the second is Raspberry, as in to blow a raspberry. I'll have my answers and explanation next time. In the meantime, I'll try and get a link put on my website to the top 100 best fun Cockney slang examples. Well, that's about it for this video. Please subscribe to my channel and like my videos. Share them with your friends and colleagues. You can find out more by looking at my website, the address is down below. And of course, don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget though, the world is waiting to hear what you have to say in English. So see you next time.